Hey everyone, welcome to the seventh lecture of AWS Guard Duty series. And in this lecture, we will try to understand another attack from IAM perspective. But in this case, instead of using IAM user access key and secret key, we will be going to explore IAM role temporary credential. So if you remember in my previous lecture, I mentioned this particular point. Whenever you associate an IAM role with your instance, a temporary access key, secret key and associated token ID gets created for certain set of duration. So every token has certain set of, you know, expiration. One, let's say if I have set for one hour, then after one hour, that token will get, you know, renewed. So if that even that particular temporary credential gets compromised by the hacker machine or by the malicious instance, then he will be able to access all sorts of data from your compromise instance, whether it is your RDS database instances or S3 bucket or whatever services secrets manager, as an example, where you store a lot of your, uh, credentials, username, passwords related to databases or any other services, right? So that's the scenario over here. Now let, let me walk you through the workflow. I have a remote host. In this case, I'm using AWS cloud shell, right? Where I have configured, uh, AWS, uh, CLI basically, and I'm using, I am role access key, secret key and token to get access to all the system inside your AWS environment. So if that gets, but let's say I am role, uh, credential gets compromised, then I'll be able to see everything as per the requirement or as per the access has been provided to that particular role, right? If that role is associated, has a functionality to connect to S3 bucket, then I'll be able to see S3 bucket or administrator access. I'll be able to see everything within your AWS account. So that's what it is. The remote host remote host will connect to EC2 instance, take the I am role temporary credential. So there is a metadata service that hacker can explore to get all sorts of information for your system, right? Once that is compromised, rest of the other scenario will be going to remain same. It's an API call, get logged into your cloud trail and from cloud trail, AWS guard duty will collect the data, send uh, the email with CloudWatch event bridge to the security team or the member who is responsible for doing the analysis of all these findings. Okay. Again, three remediation process. One is the manual way. One is the Lambda function. One is the systems manager with AWS config associated with systems manager. Perfect. I hope this clears a lot in terms of the concept or the attack that we will be going to perform in this lecture. So let me stop the presentation. Let me go back to my AWS instance or AWS environment. So this is AWS cloud shell. So if you're not aware of AWS cloud shell, I have done a demo on AWS cloud shell. I'll share the playlist. Please walk, uh, please go through that particular video that will help you to understand what exactly cloud shell is in general. It is more of a interaction through CLI into, uh, to, you know, all your AWS accounts. Uh, as per what you configure in terms of it, your AWS access key, secret key, right? Okay. Same scenario. I have a threat list where I blacklisted this IP address. I'm considering this as a malicious IP address. I'll, I'll share this command just to get the public IP address of this uh, cloud shell. Then I have an IAM role, which is having S3 access, administrator access. So you don't require all the access level because I do explore a lot of different issues. So I add the policies, I remove the policies and all those things happen. Maximum session duration is one hour. That's what it is set over here. Okay. This is an instance, again, the same malicious instance. And this instance is associated with that particular role. Okay. Now, if I go to guard duty as of now, as you can see, uh, we have seven, uh, and let's say if your IM role got, gets compromised, then you will see something like this. Again, I, I was doing some call before this video, but I will show you how to do that. Unauthorized access IM user instance credential exfiltration, right? 
access key and secret key. We'll, we'll get all the things over here. So let me first show you. This is basically what we will be going to perform. Uh, I will show you how to do it. So let me go back to my instance. Now there is a command, uh, a curl command basically. This is a curl command to get the metadata information. Let me run it over here. Now we are getting, as you can see, the previous access key was different. Now the access key is different. So let me first, you know, copy this particular information, right? Let's paste it over here. I don't need all these information. I just need access key, as you can see, secret key and token. This is the expiration. Perfect. So I'll share this command, all these commands in the description section for you to perform all sorts of operations in your account. Perfect. Now, let's say uh, being a hacker, I was able to get all these information because I my IP address has been threat listed in the guard duty and S3 bucket. So guard duty is continuously scanning that particular IP address. If any request is coming from that IP address, we'll be able to grab that information and dump the data into the guard duty console as per the logic in the backend what they have written, right? Okay. So let's try to export. Let me go back to AWS Cloud Shell. If I do AWS S3 LS, what we are getting? We are getting all sorts of access, it, right? Now, uh, let me change this information to the new one. Copy, paste, and this is the, you know, token so let's copy from here till here and you cannot use uh, the session key that i am using because uh, this is for my account and i'll be going to delete it let's export cloud shell and you can just do export this will export uh, the new key then again go for the export of access key and secret key and then finally export your session token done now if you do to describe your instance level it will show you everything what you have in us east one everything group id security group and you can use q to you know exit this output so you are getting everything. So once the metadata URL get exposed, I have the access key, secret key for that particular instance. As you can see, instance role is this. This is the root. This is basically a root one uh, that gets changes every certain interval of time. This is the public IP address. So I'm, I'm getting everything into my this particular session of shell, right? Okay, so if I do let me see if I have done something. Not this one. Describing the instance. Uh, I don't have anything much over here. So again, let's do AWS S3 LS. Because my instance is compromised, I was getting the same information because earlier the configuration was a bit different because I, I was using some different key. Now I have exported the new version of my access key and secret key and the token. That's how I'm able to see all the data. So once you have, you know, the keys are compromised. If you go to guard duty, guard duty will jot or will dump all the findings over here. And as I mentioned earlier, because this will take another five to 10 minutes to send the data over guard duty finding section, you will see something like this instance credentials X filtration. We call it as IM role X filtration credentials created exclusive for EC2 instance using instance role have been used from a remote machine, remote AWS account. Okay. Now this is a high priority uh, issue. This is the access key. As you can see H2, uh, again, uh, this is not the new one. This is the old one, right? This is this is not the key that we have exported because that will take time for us to uh, wait. We have to wait for uh, five to 10 minutes for that data to come over here. So this is your uh, access key. This And this is the name of your role, which got compromised. All the data over here. And 
this is the describe instance uh, we we did like aws ec2 describe so we are getting that ip address which is there in the threat list is 388.110.90 ashburn united states that's how you get the data over here now in order to fix it what you have to do again i'm going to show you the manual way uh, there is a systems manager way as well which i will mention in the description section so let me go to my i am creating i am console this is alb role there is something called revoke session revoke the active session so click on revoke once you click on revoke you have to acknowledge it and revoke the active session session has been revoked this is first step to revoke the session and then you have to change to change the key you have to stop the instance and then again you have to start the instance in order to change the access key and secret key plus the token i will show you in a bit once my instance will come up meanwhile let's go to guard duty refresh it again as of now nothing dumped over here yet 15 minutes ago so let me go back to my presentation again i hope uh, this kind of attack you are able to get it and I'm sure you'll be able to perform in front of your management as well because these are the most common attack that what I have seen over the years and we can you know like auto remediate this process or you can go for analysis of the findings and based on that take the actions. Let's go back to our EC2 instance it is start let's start it. I'm not sure why this was uh, okay I have to go for a new EC2 experience let's do that that was an old one nothing change much but yeah and now I'm used to this new console with AWS so yeah so let's wait for this to come up because IP address is same it's a static IP ad address that I have assigned so I will not face issue while doing a login come on yep so let's go to terminal connect we'll be able to connect it perfect now if i run my curl command to this role our access key is this so let me just move this aside so you see jv4 and this was like f6n that was the last key access key got uh, secret key is also change a caps g c h n here it is i q o j b and token id is also changed actually ending with g k and this one was ending with 90 and this is the new expiration so that's how you remediate this process there is a way in lambda function to auto remediate this process as well it's always preferred and good way to do the auto remediation with the help of lambda function or aws systems manager as i mentioned lambda function that you can explore it's very easy whoever know python then uh, you will be able to create the lambda function in a very quick way and uh, aws systems manager is something i will uh, give in the description section where you how you can use uh, aws config rule to deactivate the key right okay perfect so i hope this creates a lot in terms of uh, the different labs that what we had done for guard duty the kind of attack and uh, you can play around with guard duty create much more scenarios i will also share one of uh, a practical lab that what aws has it is more of a complex lab consisting of network firewall then guard duty step function and there is one more associated with that for the auto remediation process just go through that article once if you are able to understand that better then it will it will be better for you to implement those things as well so play around it please out a comment in comment section i'll be there to help you see you in next lecture have a nice day bye bye